Hey guys, what's up? It's Giz, back with another video. You already know what time it is. Um, first thing first, I think we need to talk about Post Archive Faction, the jackets. What the guys, what happened? Like, everywhere is sold out. <laughs> uh, for those who missed the drop, I think you guys can still wait for the Essence drop and some possibly some Japanese retailers. Uh, over the past week, I did get a lot of messages regarding the sizing and how to, I guess, choose the size and regarding the quality as well. did my best to answer every one of them, but as you know, it's also a good experience to get to learn your size while failing as well. Obviously, my body proportion is not the same for everyone else so even though if i do recommend it i might be wrong so please take that in mind but overall thank you very much for i guess trusting my taste judgment um when i first started youtube i guess one of the things that i had in mind was because i do have a bit of a different taste than the i guess compared to the mass uh, i did want to kind of show this kind of aspect and if more and more people liked the kind of choices that I always make, then I thought it would be good. But to see kind of like these things happening, it's also a very blessing. So with that in mind, I did prepare another pickup video. I haven't done a pickup video in a while, I guess. So this time I did try to choose uh, quite a variety of things. So today I have you prepared Kiko Kostadinov, Stefan Cook, Kang Hyuk, Cabin Climb by Raph Simmons, and what else? What else did I show? Oh, and Saint Michael or Saint Michele. So enjoy the video and subscriptions, likes, and comments does help keep my motivation when doing YouTube. So please leave a comment on what you thought of my pickups or maybe what's your favorite, I guess, pickup as well. Or leave, leave any kind of comment, uh, even trolling. Uh, enjoy the video! Yeah, this is the Bindra Cargos from Kiko Kostadin of uh, the recent seasons, 0009 I think. Um, I think this silhouette itself was, was very popular. Came out in three colors. This one is a cotton polyamide mix, light gray version. Very beautiful. And then on the side, obviously, there's like this paneled uh, zippers. And then on the top, it has like this beautiful red suede. Very interesting color combination. Um, this is a size 44. This time, it has very little difference from size 46. Um, still, the size 44 fits me better. Um, the side, I will show you the size 46 fit with the dark gray. But yeah. But this one. The fit is really good on me, but I think the color tone itself doesn't fit so well with my skin tone. So, I let these go. Yeah, so the dark gray Bindra Cargos, size 46. As you can see, it's a little bit more wider on the, on the butt. And, but, <laughs> keep saying butt, but. So it's a little bit more wider, but the waist is the same because um, you can loop it in the inside, I guess, button. And then the waist seems the same. For the 44, I use it on the first button. For the 46, I use it on the 
inside second button. But I think this one is a little bit more easier to wear on a daily basis. And it fits with my skin tone a little bit better. The fit one, I like the 44 better. The material wise, I like the cotton poly, I think a little bit better than this one. It's just a, what? Just 100% poly, polyamide, what Kiko always uses. But yeah, so this one, nice one. Same details, um, Riri zippers on the side, the Velcro's cargo pants, another Riri zipper here, and then this one that has a more dark gray, brownish suede here, not really sure. Material wise, I think the cotton poly from the light gray is a little bit better than this one, but this one's a little bit more to my taste. So I might keep this, um, but I do have another one coming in the snake fabric. Not a snake fabric, but in kind of snake pattern. So I might just get those. Okay, so the next one, be all ears. This is a new brand. This is a new brand that's gonna blow up. So this is a brand called Saint Michael or Saint Mikhail or Saint Michele. I'm not really sure how they pronounce it, but anyways, if you read it the American way, it's called Saint Michael. Basically, this is this brand is made by Caramel Bobby and Utah from the ready made. Uh, it's like their new side project or their official project. First released last month in a very limited drop. Then some t shirts and this crew neck as well sold out immediately within within a minute i would say the hype is already there um, also there because they do know a lot of people within the industry the brand is just bound to blow up the retail price isn't so high as well so there's a lot of rooms for resellers to come in to profit uh, basically i think they're going for the street uh I guess business model obviously but it's very nice they, I mean they both have a very good knowledge of I guess vintage so the product all their product itself is very vintage uh, aesthetic um, especially the t-shirts like I think they had a very interesting take on one of the Nirvana Kurt Cobain t-shirts and then they also flipped the tag as you know the giant tag that Saint that was also very interesting, but the t-shirts have been reselling for three times right now, uh, as well as like these crew necks. Um, but yeah, so basically if you want to find a new brand, if you also want to profit in the future, and if you want something that's vintage aesthetic, but kind of like a newly created product, I think this brand is it for you. Unfortunately, this piece is a little bit big on me, because you know I don't really like it long stuff so this is a large i tried to find myself a medium but it's so hard to find so i'm not really sure but yeah so this is a very good interesting brand yeah so the next one is the kang hyuk airbag vest from 2017 AW. This one, for those who's not familiar with Kang Hyuk, he's a Korean brand as well. It's run by two people. Kang Hyuk is his actual name. Uh, he graduated from the Royal College of Arts. Um, he's also very close with Per Gotsin and Anarmar Johnson as well. But I think the brand recently, not recently from last year, started to really blow up after it's a Rocky Ward in his uh, music video. Very expensive, the retail is very expensive. Um, the way he sources his fabric is uh, he always uses airbag to recycle airbags. Uh, for this vest as well, um, it's made from the airbag uh, fabric. Uh, basically, it's like a flak vest, uh, military inspired. I think a lot of brands have their own iterations of this certain type of jacket. I guess the most notable one would be Helmut Lang. Um, on the side, it has like these weave with these strings there's not much too much to say about the jacket except that it's 
super cool because of its because it's made out of airbags. Yeah, nothing too much to say. I'll do a re separate review on Kang Hyuk in the later videos. So next one is the Stefan Cook uh, strap, back strap. I'm not sure really what you call it, but this is like the matches fashion exclusive version in the silver white colorway. Now Stefan Cook, now he's an interesting guy. Um, I've been looking at some of his designs. Very, the retail is very high. So I think everybody just goes for the strap because the strap isn't so expensive, but now I think it's reselling. So now it's that expensive as well. But this is like his best-selling item, picking up a, picking up like more clothes from him as well. This strap is very, it comes in use actually in, a, in, a, in, in, in many ways. Like, because it's a strap, you can always change the bag of what you want. Now I just strapped it on the uh, Celine small bag, but it just, adds a little element to your outfit i would say especially in the summer uh obviously i'm wearing a knit right now but it goes well with just simple t-shirts as well i'll show you show you guys so just add it like this like as a strap kind of feel royal this way i <laughs> keep using the word royal right now it's made out of like these buttons I feel like like if one breaks, then maybe every everything might break. But it's actually quite sturdy. It kind of reminds me of Paco Rabanne as well. Now, for those who don't know who wants to cop this, actually, there's another one releasing. I think soon. It says coming soon in the Matches Fashion website. Uh, he's releasing with some vintage bags that he sourced for around 500 bucks. So. If you guys want it for the strap and the bag, go for those. Having Klein, 205 West, 309 something. Well, I'm always confused with the name, but anyways, Calvin Klein by Raph Simmons. Uh, an unfortunate side for both of them, but this is the fireman runway suit from the 2018 fall winter. Those who followed my pickups would have seen that I do own the Fireman boots in the white in the same season. So this kind of goes as a set. I think a set Rocky wore it the full set in one of something I forgot, but like he was like in this experimental laboratory or something. But this one I fell in love when I saw it at actually at ZSC. I hope he owns this piece, and I was actually really surprised of how cool when you see it. It's like a museum piece, I would say. Uh, but other people would might say it just looks like a fireman suit, but that's fashion. So this is very like it looks old. <laughs> so I remember like when it arrived to my parents' house, my mom was like, "Why'd you buy such like old like 30 year old clothes?" I was like, "No, this is brand new." Like. <laughs> But that was funny. But like amazing construction. I knew I had to get it. And I acquired it through a trade. Um, I never wear jumpsuits. And I would probably not wear this outside. So I would probably just keep this at home to just look at. Um, it's so very pleasing to look at actually when you hang it up in, in your in your closet. It's so nice. Like, uh, like in the back. It's made out of this, there's like two very long Lampo zippers, uh, which I would probably not unzip right now. Um, but I can't wait to wear this with my fireman boots. But unfortunately my fireman boots is in Japan. Uh, I probably will not bring this to Japan. So I'm not really sure when I can show you the full fit, but tell me, like, let me know what you guys think of this piece. Like don't troll in the comments, okay? <laughs> so 
Yeah, so this item, the Namacheco Paiyu jacket, not really sure where they got the name from, but it's made from 100% Kuro cotton in a reversed weave. Um, this, the fabric is just so amazing. Um, this is an Orion color, so like a grayish, bluish, navyish, but I don't really like navy. But this is not navy, so. But this, the color is a set with my new yaw trousers. Um, but basically, this jacket is so amazing. Like, I think for outerwears, I prefer Namacheco. For pants, I do prefer Kiko. But this one is like, you can wear it in so many different ways. So first of all, like, as you see, it's kind of like, this is the closed version. This looks a little bit more royal. It looks a little bit more royal, I would say, uh, with all these straps here. Um, I'll show you in the back as well. And the details for this is you can, if you, so it's very complicated, but they used, so basically, if I zip this down, I'll show you guys. Um, there's like this snap at the end, at the bottom here, which goes inside. They use Cobrax press buttons, very expensive hardware. And then you can unclip this inside as connected with the button. And then it's a very interesting construction. And then you can kind of unzip this like this, wear it more like as a workwear jacket. I normally like to wear it like this, it's a little bit more less royal um it's a little bit more of the feeling that i like and it's actually more comfortable to wear like this but the zippers as well i love namacheco because they do take care of a lot of details so they use a rakagni zip for this jacket so one of the most expensive hardware zippers you can use it's a little bit more expensive than i think riri or lampo um but really love this jacket it's crazy I did pick them in a size small, so. And last but not least, um, a pair of Vans. I know some of you always ask me to do some affordable pickup reviews as well. So why not a good pair of white Vans with a slight twist. It's kind of like what I call, I don't know, it goes really well with my Navacheco pants. I'll show you guys later, but it's like these, it's so wavy here. You know, it has like a triple sole. On the left side, I guess good for skating. I don't skate, but I kind of assume it to be. And then there's like triple tongues, so super nice. Boom.